Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing sticky sections in Elementor Pro 2.0. The sticky sections allows you to have your section sticky uh, to the top of the page whenever you scroll. This could be for elements, and so, uh, this could be for the sections, this could also be for um, specific things of that nature. So what we're going to do is we're going to do sticky sections that overlap each other. So if you see, we have this page template from Elementor. If we scroll, we'll see that this purple section sticks. And then as we keep scrolling, each section below it will overlap that as we scroll down more. So let's go ahead and show you how to get this look with Elementor Pro 2.0. So right now I've got our page right here and it's a normal layout with our blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's edit this section down here at the bottom first. So we want to start at the bottom because once you turn on sticky, it applies it in the preview. And if we do that, we won't be able to have our sections here um, be edited. So we want to see how many sections we have. So we have one, two, three, four sections. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go to the last section and we're going to click edit. From there, we're going to make this height fit to screen go under advanced and we're going to do the Z index. Now we want this one to be the highest. So we want the Z index to be the highest number. So we're going to do this four because we have four sections. Actually, let's make it five. So from here, we're going to go down the scrolling effect and turn this on. I have mobile turned off right now because uh, on mobile, it's a little weird with fit to screen. Uh, sections and things of that nature. So it's a little bit different. So I just have this for desktop and tablet. So let's continue on to the rest of our sections by applying this when we're going to go down one Z index as we keep going to each section. So the first one was five. This one's going to be four. So the section above the next needs to always be one number lower at least. Let's go ahead and make this fit to screen. Let's do the same thing for the featured classes. And we're going to do a Z index of three, scrolling effect on desktop and tablet. And then we have the purple section fit to screen. And then we have the Z index of three, I believe, or well, two, because we did, we did three here. So make sure it's two. So we have two, and then we'll go scrolling effect, turn on, desktop off, or desktop and tablet on and mobile off. So now we have our screen and we have the fit to height sections. Let's go ahead and scroll and see what it looks like. So as we scroll, we can see that we have all of our sections overlapping each other and they are all good to go. We have it just like this. So let's go ahead and update this and we'll see that we have this working perfectly fine on the front end and we want to test that and you're all good to go. So the more content that you have inside of your sections, the harder it may to it may be to get this working correctly. The, this section right here is a little bit weird. Uh, might not work on smaller um, on smaller screens that are going to be such as this. So you might want to always take a look to make sure it works before you implement it. See that this gets cut off just a little bit. The choose your plan is a little odd. So the fit to height is a little odd on um, sections that have a lot of content. So make sure you double check that first. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video um, and we will see you at the next one. Thanks.